Hello and congratulations on the purchase of your new Sunbeam Compact Barista Espresso Machine. My name is Ben, I'm a barista and award-winning coffee roaster, and in this video I'll show you how to use your coffee machine for the first time and guide you through the process of making great coffee at home. This compact coffee machine has all the features to create delicious cafe-style coffee, including preset single and double shot volume control, as well as steam and hot water functions for creating your favourite latte, cappuccino or flat white. The temperature controller keeps the coffee temperature and flavour consistent for a great tasting coffee every time. Now that you have a great machine, it's important to make sure you have a good bag of coffee beans. When it comes to getting a good extraction, using freshly roasted, good quality beans is the most important step. Coffee beans have the best flavour between 5 to 20 days after roasting. Make sure you look for beans with a roasted date on the bag. I recommend buying smaller bags to reduce storage time. Storage plays a key role in preserving the freshness of the beans. Using an airtight container, keep them in a cool, dry and dark place out of direct sunlight. I find a kitchen cupboard works perfectly. In less than a few minutes, you'll be sipping on cafe-style coffee in the comfort of your own home. Let's begin. After you've unboxed the compact barista, remove the red plug from underneath the water tank. Rinse the milk jug, filter baskets, group handle, tamper measuring spoon and water tank in warm water with a mild detergent. Make sure the items are thoroughly dry before using. Fill the tank with cold water and then insert it back into the machine. Insert the power plug into the power outlet and switch the machine on. The light on the buttons will pulse to indicate the machine is heating up. When the standby, one cup, two cup and steam buttons are fully illuminated, the machine is ready to use. Place two large cups underneath the group head and steam wand. Press the two cup button to prime the machine, then turn the dial to hot water for 20 to 30 seconds to prime the steam wand. Pour the water out and rinse the cup you're using to make your coffee. Now your coffee machine is primed and you're ready to make your first cafe style coffee. Make sure there's enough water in the water tank. Now if you enjoy your coffee a little on the hotter side, you can preheat your cup with hot water. Now a lot of people have asked me why it's important to preheat the cup and that's a great question. Espresso is such a small volume and can lose heat quickly. You want to make sure you're keeping as much heat in as possible. Preheating ensures the coffee stays at its optimal drinking temperature for longer. To preheat your cup, simply place the cup under the steam wand, then turn the dial to the hot water position. Fill the cup to about a quarter full with hot water. Then turn the dial to the off position. Empty the cup after 20 to 30 seconds. Your coffee machine comes with dual wall filter baskets, otherwise known as double wall or pressurized filter baskets. As the name would suggest, these baskets are made up of two walls, one standard layer of mesh and another solid layer with a small hole. Quite often when using older coffee beans, or pre-packaged ground coffee, the consistency of the extraction is compromised because the beans aren't fresh. Dual wall filter baskets are ideal for pre-ground coffee or when a grinder isn't available. These baskets will enhance the crema and improve the overall consistency. Now it's time to choose either the one cup or two cup filter basket. Once you've made your choice, insert the filter basket into the group handle and insert the group handle into the group head. Now press the two cup button. 
This will preheat the group handle and filter basket and ensure your coffee is kept nice and warm during extraction. Remove the group handle and wipe the filter basket with a dry cloth. Now if you're using fresh coffee beans and a coffee grinder, grind directly into the filter basket of your group handle. Next up, we need to tamp the coffee. I like to tamp with a medium pressure, somewhere between 10 to 15 kilos is ideal, but basically a gentle lean using some of your body weight is great. Once you've tamped the coffee, there should be about a three mil gap from the coffee to the top of the filter basket. Don't forget to wipe away any excess coffee left on the group handle. Now you're ready to insert the group handle into the group head. Turning it to the centre position, simply place the cup under the group handle. Depending on the basket you selected earlier, press either the one cup or two cup button. Remember I selected the two cup basket meaning I'm going to press the two cup button. The shot volume has been programmed to deliver the right amount of water, meaning it will automatically stop when the right amount of coffee has been poured. A good way to gauge the quality of your espresso is by paying attention to the extraction time. Generally speaking, you'll find the best results between 20 to 30 seconds for both the one cup and two cup shots. It should have a steady flow with a consistency similar to warm honey and the colour should be dark golden for a rich tasting espresso. If the pour is too fast and the extraction time is under 20 seconds, you might find the espresso is a little weak and watery with a thin light brown crema. There can be a few reasons for this. Under extractions can be caused by the grind being too coarse, not enough coffee in the filter basket, or using old coffee. If the coffee was too coarse, you can use a finer grind. If you didn't have enough coffee, you can add a little more on the next one. Remembering, we're aiming for a gap of three mils from the coffee to the top of the basket. Remember, for the best results, we always recommend using freshly roasted beans between five to 20 days after the roasted on date. If the pour is too slow and the extraction time is over 35 seconds, you might find the espresso tastes a little heavy with a bitter finish and a darker crema. There can be a few reasons for this. Over extraction can be caused by the grind being too fine and or having too much coffee in the filter basket. If the coffee is too fine, you can use a coarser grind. If you put a little too much coffee in the basket, aim for that three mil guideline on the next one. Now, just a little tip. If you're making more than two milk-based coffees at a time, I recommend splitting the process. Prepare all your espressos first, then focus on the milk. I find this really streamlines the process. Now that you've finished extracting your coffee, it's time to start preparing the milk. Fill the milk jug with cold milk just below the bottom of the spout and press the steam button. When the steam button is fully illuminated, turn the dial to steam to warm up the steam wand. Some water may come out of the steam wand. Let this run for a few seconds till the steam pressure builds up. Once the steam pressure is at its peak, turn off the steam and insert the steam wand into the milk jug. The steam wand should be at 12 o'clock and the steam tip should be at three o'clock. There should be a finger width from the edge of the milk jug and the tip should be just below the surface of the milk. When you're ready, turn the dial to the steam position and start texturing your milk. Correct milk texturing should make a smooth hissing noise and the milk should spin in a whirlpool action. As the milk level rises, lower the jug to keep the tip just below the surface. The milk is ready when it reaches 60 to 65 degrees. A good technique to gauge this temperature is to pinch the milk jug two times a second until it's too hot to touch. 
When the milk is ready, turn the dial to the off position and remove the milk jug from the steam wand. Remember to wipe the steam wand and tip with a damp cloth and always purge the steam wand immediately after texturing the milk. You can do this by turning the steam on for one to two seconds and then turn it to the off position. You may notice some milky water coming out of the steam wand. This is completely normal and ensures the steam wand is clean and ready for your next coffee. Swirl the jug to blend the milk and create a silky texture. Cafe quality milk should look like a glossy white paint with a smooth and velvety mouthfeel. If you notice any larger air bubbles, tap the jug to release them. And now it's time to pour your milk in one steady stream. And now you've just made your first cafe style coffee at home. To finish, remove the group handle by turning it anti-clockwise from the group head and knock out the used coffee. If you'd like to make another coffee straight after milk texturing, you'll need to cool down the thermoblock heating system. To do this, place your cup under the steam wand and press either the steam, one or two cup button. Then turn the dial to the hot water position and leave on until hot water starts pouring out. Now turn the dial to the off position. You're now ready to make more coffees. After you finish making coffee, remember to wash all the parts with soapy warm water. Well, I hope this video was helpful. For more hints and tips, don't forget to check out our other videos in the Sunbeam Coffee Hub. Thank you.